Hi guys, my name's John. Welcome to this channel. So, can you start a social media marketing agency whilst you're in full-time work? Short answer, of course you can. Longer answer, of course you can, but it will need a bit more work. But let's just talk to you really quick about, about me and how I got to where I am. So, I'm 35, nearly <laughs> married with two kids, huge mortgage and probably like a lot of you guys I didn't go to university or anything like that I'm not a uni dropout or anything like that I just started working uh, primarily in sales roles and I really really enjoy sales roles um, that seems to be what I've been good at um, and then t towards kind of 2000 end of 2017 my daughter was approaching kind of two years old and Whilst I was earning lots of money, I was under a lot of stress and I wasn't spending a lot of time at home and I was just desperate to spend more time at home and spend more time with daughter, spend more time with wife, spend more time with our friends and you know, just fed up of working so many hours. I mean, the money was great, but I don't know whether this is because I'm getting a bit older, but it's not all about money. Uh, it's about quality time and I just wanted... The I don't know. I suppose you want to be financially free. Everyone wants to be financially free, but I want to have my cake and eat it. I want to be financially free, but have lots of time to spend with friends and family. So like everyone else does, I went onto YouTube and I looked at how to make money online or different ways to make money. And if you've done the same, you'll probably see there's affiliate marketing, there's drop shipping, Shopify, that kind of thing. And I more looked into it. I was like, oh, I don't really think that's for me. Then social media marketing came up. And I thought, okay, this is something I could do, use my sales knowledge and things like that. So um, that's where it started. So full disclosure, I've not taken any courses. I'm not going to try and go, oh, so-and-so's course is amazing and get any money out of that because I haven't done any. I think there is lots and lots and lots of awesome free information out there, especially from, oh, I just sound old now, but these younger so, you know these younger entrepreneurs in their early 20s if you're looking about social media marketing videos you know who they are i don't need to name drop but loads and loads of free awesome information out there there's also some crap out there but there's really good stuff out there so i'll just piece it all together and um just went out there and what i did not start cold calling people what i did i started i went through the the upwork route so i went through the the freelancer websites um, didn't do fantastic to start with, but it was trial and error. And then eventually, uh, I got a client, and we got I think something like a an eighty five percent return investment. I'll go through that in another video about how we broke that down. But when we got that, it was a three hundred dollar gig. In my, it was my first one. It was a three hundred dollar gig, but I think I mean I haven't got the exact figures, but I think we had. So like 380 sales at $14.95. So good result, good result. And from there then, that was that was what I that was my first ever case study that I used for my next one. So my next one I could charge $700 and then my next one I could charge $1,000 and it kind of grew from there. And then from there, I thought, okay, this is all great work in doing the freelancing stuff, but you know, I'm not meeting anybody um, because part of my sales background was doing sort of face-to-face -face with clients and I enjoy that meeting people so uh, sort of midway through last year 2018 is when I started uh, cold calling uh, brick and mortar businesses and I'm glad I did I'm glad I did and I'm thinking now hang on you just said you worked in sales it's a bit different when you sign a product that you that you know that you know really well it's a bit different when you're trying to ring up and sell yourself just saying, when you, when you when you try it, you'll see what I mean. But, uh, and then from there, it, it just grew and grew and grew. I said before, I'm still in full-time work. But what I did do is throughout this journey, so start of 2018, I had two, two freelancer clients. And then come to midway to, through 2018, I had, I dropped the freelancer clients and had, so midway 2018, I had three clients. So one at 800 pounds because i'm based in the uk one eight hundred pounds and two 
at a thousand pounds so not quite enough to quit my full-time job that was earning from the high pressure sales but enough to quit the job and get a less stressed full-time job so i wasn't even doing nine to five before so from going from doing like you know kind of like 12 13 hour days working at home laptop pay while everyone's eating dinner down to a nine to five job if you already got a nine to five job and that's stressing you out try doing like 13 hour days sort of six days a week down to a nine to five then you'll see you'll appreciate that actually nine to five isn't that bad but don't get me wrong uh, i do enjoy that job it's great being home spending time with the kids it is really great but now i've got a taste of what it's like to be at home more I, you know i, I, I want to cut out full-time plumber. i want to work for myself full-time um but i'm also a realist and what i want to do is so you're thinking now so midway through 2018 you've got two clients at a thousand one eight hundred that's two thousand hundred pounds surely that should be enough on paper yeah right it is but what i want to do is i have a goal and my goal is to a be mortgage free and b have savings of sixty five thousand pounds in the bank before i want to say summer so before july i want to have that money in if I can hit, if I can get sixty-five grand in the bank, then great. I hit my, I've hit my target, and I'll quit my job full time because that is what I would have would have earned in my full time sales job if I'd hit all my targets. So, if I've got that. There's money in the bank that's going to tide me over in case anything happens with the social media marketing. That you know, I might have some slow months or whatever. Fingers crossed, I won't. But there we are. You now I've got some notes down here. So, mid to late two thousand eighteen. I had three clients, one eight hundred, one and two at a thousand. Now, as of January two thousand nineteen, I have five clients. So my lowest one, I've still got my eight hundred pound one. So one client that pays eight hundred, and then my highest retainer is two thousand three hundred. Only took them on in November. Things are going really well with that so far. Um, but we're coming towards the end of this video. I didn't really want to waffle on too much about. I kind of have waffled on a little bit too much, but the point of this video is, can you do it? And yes, you can, but there's a few caveats. Okay, so obviously you've got a full-time job. So when do you find the time to do it? And the answer, you're probably not gonna like it, but you've got to get up a little bit earlier. So it might be 5 a.m. to get up. And there's no two ways about it, guys. Sorry. So it's worth about it. If you want to do it in a full-time job, you're going to have the drive to do it. You've just got to do it. You've got to go up at five o'clock and you've got to do some prospecting. So I might jump on Facebook, look some potential brick and mortar business that you're going to ring on your lunch break. So do some prospecting, send it to your, you know, send it to your phone, whatever. So when you're, you're at lunch, you can whip out your numbers. Who's you going to ring? Make five or six calls on your lunch hour. No, no luck in your lunch hour. When you, after work, bring them after work, you know. Uh, after work is when you can so when you so when you've got some clients after work is when you can do all your yeah your social media management stuff so you can get all your posts so you can open other buffer or hootsuite i prefer buffer no feelings here prefer buffer and then so if you've got a client and you've and part of your agreement in your proposal was that you're going to post once every day great if you, if you don't know about this social media software it's great because you can spend an hour just getting your post ready schedule all in so you don't have to go in there every day clicking the button every day you just put this put it in the software and it just you tell it right monday post this tuesday post this wednesday post this it might take an hour but that's it then done that's that that's that part of your proposal done then you can do some ads you can get your ads set up you can do some uh do some targeting for you for your ads you can you can do all sorts but the thing is if you just break it down an hour in the morning a little bit of your lunch break and then an hour maybe an hour and a half when you get back after work i know it's hard to find the time but you can you know if you want to do it you will do it okay so my advice is make time to do it um and just do it i mean everyone thinks about doing it right just do it also as well Four hour work week, you'll probably see that in reverse. Really, really good book. Again, no fit links here. Just go and buy it. If you haven't got the money to go and buy it, go on Audible and you get a three 30 day trial. And you can listen to that for free of 30 days. There's no excuse not to do it. 
So yeah, uh, that's answer the question. Yes, you can do it. But, you know, as I say, I've set my goal. My goal is to get 65 grand in my savings account by, July, by end of July. If I do that, I'll quit my job. So if, you, if you're if serious about it, if if you've been looking at other social media marketing videos and you're still on the fence and don't let the excuse, oh, I've got a full-time job, stop you because if I can do it, and I'm, I'm nothing special, I am just a normal guy who wants to be mortgage free and spend time with his family that's it you know what i mean I, that that's it um there's there's loads of free advice out there i've got some more videos got some some ideas here i've got some more videos coming out about how to find clients how to prepare for meetings how to prospect potential people how to do well in meetings how to get confident when you're doing cold callings how to be confident in these meetings how to run Facebook ads, how to use Buff. I've got all these plans. So if you want to know how to do all this stuff and learn more, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I can't. You know what? I'm. This is new. To, YouTube's new to me, but you have to say it, don't you? Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, see you in the next video.